so wonderful, Jesus. Oh Lord, this morning we testify of your greatness. We testify, Lord, of your amazing wonders. We testify, Lord, of how great you are, O oh God. How marvelous, how wonderful, how exalted and mighty you are, Jesus. You are, you is, and you will forever be, Jesus. The Alpha and Omega. Receive all glory. Receive all honor. Just a minute. Just a little receive all praise. He is a great God. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace, the Lion of Judah. The one. God, we bless you. We worship you. We declare you are great. And everything about you is great. Everything written about you. Only God and God. Only shame God. Only presence God. receive our glory, receive our honor this morning. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Wow. Wow. Such a great God. Such an amazing God that we that we have. This morning we 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 are just here to celebrate the goodness of the Lord and the greatness of the Lord. Especially a testimony of uh, his surprising aspect of the Lord. We want to thank you, uh, you who was able to attend our the I worship event that was last Sunday uh, afternoon. The Lord came through. I think that's the best thing that happened. That you know, not only guys turned turned up, and not only was the event good, but the best thing is that the Lord uh, graced our event and uh, came through for us. So we want to thank you for even for you who was not able to come but uh, uh, supported us in prayer. Uh, in any other way, even in thoughts, we want to thank you so, so much. May the good Lord bless you and uh, do you good. Amen. So, uh, good morning. What's it? Uh, good morning, Jim. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just love what you were saying, how the Lord really came through. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing uh, what God is able to, to do in one's life when we, we allow him. No, today we are celebrating and uh, if you allow God even you is watching us today mm. uh, the Lord is really able to, to, to really do great yeah it's an exciting morning no um, I'm, 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 I'm actually tempted to, to call these a PK service uh, for you who is joining us uh, everyone on board here is what I would say a PK a pastor's kid uh, from say Akopale, Kobaz, eh? Anaito Anto. <laughs> uh, maybe Anto, in one word or two, you'd, you'd tell us how it is, uh, what's your experience being a pastor's kid? Well, <laughs> it's a good morning. Yeah. So, being a pastor's kid uh, is an exciting moment. Yeah. Though challenges are is a mob. <laughs> My challenge. Oh, My challenge. You know, uh, for example, your peers don't expect uh, when William say any spirit. <laughs> As you know, uh, like like kuna vitu na paso kuna fanya. Yeah, as in they have high expectations about you. Oh, mm. so your pastor yani ni perfect. Yeah, yeah. Pastor ah, so you talk to a pastor. Huh? Mm. Talk to a pastor will talk a heaven or fall down. Um, Barbara, yes. uh, I I know for you it's different even from us. Uh, we're both dad and mom, what and the pastors. So I don't know what you'd say. What's your experience of being a pastor's kid? What do you make out of it? That um, I can relate to what Anto said. Yeah. It has not been easy. It's 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 not easy, but it's also humbling because everywhere you go, Nikama, everyone identifies you. You know, sometimes you want to go somewhere and just... How do you can you? You're just Barbara, Mtutu, eh, common, and whatever. But then, uh, for me, I've had some challenges and it, it, it's reached a point that I used to... Okay, I love serving in the music ministry, but I 
like niliachana nayo for some time because it's like kuna expectations mingi and it's so much pressure but i thank god because he revealed himself to me and it's not all about people and what they say yeah. and i think the best gift i can also give to my parents is supporting them in the ministry as i also grow in in this ministry i think the best thing is to always be supportive to them wow yeah wow thank you thank you thank you very much eh, babra i'm say kwa pa hivi atataja jina yake and maybe in your sharing umeikuwa na your worst moment as a pastor's kid maybe kuna kitu ulifanya noma sana uh, i don't know <laughs> your smile <laughs> yeah hi guys hi hey. uh it's open uh mumo no coca yes i am happy okay. i thank god uh for bringing me or rather placing me in a, in a pastor's family it's been it's been a journey uh an amazing one for that matter uh the first question wow uh being a pk of course kuna pressure ya you know as anto and babra have said kuna pressure ya ku keep up na the standards the holy spirit <laughs> if i would say that eh? keep the standards eh? and kila mtu akiamka saa moja kuwa kanisani wewe unafaa kuwa kati ya among the number yeah. you know? yeah. and uh, you are you are kind of shaped to plug in into the ministry quite early mm-hmm. before you even before your 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 heart is convicted that I'm a levy mm-hmm. and I have to serve you know <laughs> so uh yeah imekuwa jani kwanza mimi hapo kwa kuwa kwa levy uh being a levy has been has been a jani yeah. you have ili have kwa admit yenyewe mimi by the name to uh, pass it eh. na hakuna venye tu nitahepa hakuna vile unaweza add m hapa nyuma ya levi siwezi yes eh. it's a ad siwezi <laughs> <laughs> siwezi <laughs> so yeah it's been that's that's exactly that's yeah. uh, that's that's the you know the big deal about this journey you cannot you cannot think or rather you cannot consider compromise yeah you have to stick to what you Wow. Uh, sasa, sasa. Uh, Jim, uh, do Jim, do you see yourself um, having grown in a pastor's kid uh, becoming one? Uh, I would have asked Barbara kama ataolewa na one of them but uh, or maybe even become one as well. But for you, do you see yourself uh, becoming one? Uh, well, <laughs> if the Lord decides so. <laughs> I will, but but honestly I wouldn't it's not it's not really something that I really really want yeah. but uh that that's in all honesty but I am also ready for the for God's call yeah yes wow mm. maybe a word for for our fellow PKs who could be watching this oh. uh, yeah uh what 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 they, what they have spoken about especially pressures uh, in terms of peers and, the, and expectations uh, it's something that uh, of course in our journey as pkes has brought us down at some point because we we uh, we bow down to such pressures but uh, i would like to encourage us one we need to ac- we need to accept i love the way ben says that at the end of the day you can change <laughs> you can change the fact that those are your parents yeah. and they're in ministry mm-hmm. and uh, so uh the best thing that one can do is first of all be able to uh, uh differentiate the salvation of our parents and ours yes. like i need to accept christ myself yanzi uh, hapo mm. kwanza mm. i think with that you are able to shape up your own journey and not a journey of expectations yeah. with your parents i think that's the best thing uh, i can tell one I, I love that statement like god has sons yes. ama baba yangu ameokoka it doesn't mean he doesn't have exactly. grandsons exactly. Yeah so thank you the, the Lord really bless you I want to give it back to Barbara just to take us uh, in a short a short period of worship and then yeah we can do this together
when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel, not to give up but be a fool. You are my share the word of God together with you uh, in form of a discussion just look at three things uh, Pastor Skid challenge uh, tunafungua kitabu ya John wacha tuone nani atafungua kwanza uh, the book of John chapter chapter 2 uh, there is a recorded first miracle in chapter 2 so I'll uh, I'll ask Ben to read the first two verses uh, the first two verses then we have uh, Anto reading the next two verses the gospel of john yes the gospel of john okay uh, 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 see, see, see uh, hey. the epistle uh, hey, uh, <laughs> <baby. laughs> uh, wedding wedding in kana two days later there was a wedding in the town of kana in galilee Jesus mother or oh, okay Jesus mother was there Jesus mother was there and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding eh afanto endele babra then Jim verse 3 and when they ran out of wine the mother of Jesus said to him they have no wine Jesus said to her Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. Uh, 
um, verse 5. Jesus' mother then told the servants, do whatever he tells you. Verse 6. The Jews have rules about ritual washing, and for, he, and for this purpose, six stone water jars were there, each one large enough to hold between 20 and 30 gallons. Verse 7. Jesus said to them, fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, verse 8, draw some out now and take it to the master of the feasts. And they took it. Wow. Thank you very much. So uh, just getting back to verse 1, uh, the Bible says that on the third day, uh, so when you see on the third day, I'm sure if you asked uh, Barbara what that means, it would mean that there was... Uh day one day two yeah exactly three. it means that there was a day one and that there was a day two and now we are on a uh, day three so day one just if i can quickly mention just to get context of this is in verse 29 of um, of john chapter one in a sema the next day john saw jesus coming towards him and said the words that just barbara uh, sang a little earlier, uh, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So basically what this really means is that day one, we are introduced to Jesus. So day one, John the Baptist, look at the Lamb of God. So it was, everybody has a day one. Yeah, All of us here had a day one. Maybe it is, it is your first day. It may not be my first day. Maybe it is your day one. I introduce you to Jesus. Look at the Lamb of God who takes and wipes away every sin. And then quickly, day two, we can find that in uh, verse, uh, verse 43. The next day, in Anzana, the next day. So, so <laughs> the next day, Jesus decided to leave Galilee. Mm -hmm. A man called who? Philip. 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 And he said to him, Follow, follow me me so the bible says we can deliver us 44 mm. philip like andrew and peter mm. was from the town of bethsaida and then philip found nathaniel told him we have found one that moses wrote about basically this guy alikuwa invited na as a way to follow kabisa mpaka ata na invite another person so day two what we do is that we respond to the invitation so we see these guys being introduced to jesus but now we see them following Jesus. Now day three is where now we are reading and it's what I want to call us it's a day of encountering what Jesus is able to do. So Ben, maybe we may your scripture uh, Jesus kubadilisha margin to wine what comes to your mind with some portion of your scripture? One thing that comes to your mind. <laughs> wow. Um, maybe to paraphrase the story yeah. or rather to put it into that I can bring it to my head. Yes. Uh, Jesus is in a wedding and the wine uh, runs out. Yes. Kuna wine. And uh, Mary uh, goes to Jesus and tells her, uh, tells him, Atuna mm. wine. Uh, and, and she leaves and she tells the people when you are in the Actually, Sidani kama yungo ja response ya Yesu. Yungo ja response ya Yesu after memuambia tuna wine. Uh -huh. ana, 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 <laughs> ana, ana, ana wambia nga tuna wine alafu anaenda na ambia do whatever the man tells you to do. Mm -hmm. As in, she has, she has got that place here. Yeah. Confidence. Mm. Yeah, I have presented my case to Jesus. My master. Mm. Uh, you guys, it's just a matter of faith and believe whatever he tells you. Yeah. She goes and she... We see Jesus sending the these guys to the river to go and I don't know. river kweli. Yeah, But yeah, go fill them to the brim. Yes. And then he converts, of course, the water into wine. And uh, in this whole passage, I think what stands out for me is there is always uh, our role to play in every in everything that is. Uh, Jesus intends to do in our lives, uh, or rather, in everything that we intend to uh, do, mm. or rather, to expect that to that's the word. 
Wow. And we have to play our part. We have to really play our part. These guys had to go and fetch water mm. for Jesus to turn it into wine. Mm. Aku wambia, guys, mm. and then you mchote kuna wine mali ni mwatengenezea. Uh. Ali wambia, and then you mchote mwati. Umse, mnaona amekuwa pasta already. Mnachoke. Levy, levy. So as I, as, I, as I finish my, my point before the end of the sana, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think, I think, kuna kwanga tu na approach enye God and atupeanga, atupeangi finished product. Yes. And atupeanga a room to, you know, a guy. Pasta. Atupea a room. Easy point is ya niku ya pochi. And atupea a room for input. Or rather, yeah. our role in the in the miracle. Wow. Yes. Uh, after Ali heal the blind man, Ali Mombia in the Siloam. Yeah. Young M. Chikatu Alafua. Hiyo tu kwa sasa mimi. Yeah, that was my input. Thank you, thank you, Josh. Th- thank you, thank you, thank you, Ben. Eh, eh, Jim, umempigia makofi sana. Just say one point. One. <laughs> one point, yes. Uh, <coughs> what does your concern have to do with me? <laughs> <laughs> That's your highlight. Actually, Barbara, so many of us here, we are but Sasa, Mujuet, just to put it in context, Mary has come to Jesus. He has said, hey, we are going to divide. Eh, na jua mjio ni wacha. Nilikuwa nasomanga Bible ya Kiswahili. Mose, Mose mtumishi wa Bwana akafa. Mikalia. So, ameishiwa na divai and then that's the response that Jesus alimpea. Yes. Inasema you must you must not tell me what to do. You must not Jesus tell replied. me what to do. Na version ya Jimmy inasema what the woman what does your concern <laughs> Abokwa woman, <laughs> what does your concern have to do with me? Yeah. My hour has not yet come. Has not yet come. That phrase woman was um, uh, maybe in our, in our context, in our culture, it may not sound so respectful, mm. but that was the most respectful term that you'd use to refer to a lady. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to put that into context so that to say that yes, well, it's not rude. But your statement is here too. What does, like in other words, message version in Asema, what troubles you does not trouble me. Even the Alimambia basically we just put it that way. So Anto, I want you to just say one point. Yeah. I love you mean it on but an honor casters e exposition to tend the land next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Mumo and said it all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know to you are pastor and uh, uh, yeah. so for me yes. <clears throat> Uh, what stand out for me is that uh, on verse 6, uh-huh. according to the man of um, the water pots, villagers, mm-hmm. uh, they were used for, puri- for purification mm-hmm. and cleansing, mm-hmm. uh, or other translations. Mm-hmm. So, na I put context here to ya today, ni like karaye nye mtutu miyakuoga. Then you are told, does any magic? Yeah. Yeah, and you are turning a turn into when I don't think uh, the master wa your ceremony, yeah. if I lead you up in your way, actually, I'm going to join you. So it, uh, it's the, it's, uh, so my, it's in a standout kwangu, yeah. is the fact that. Uh, uh, some things that uh, Jesus, uh, ama things that your God and Jesus say, maku, kwa certain situations, mm-hmm. they may sound absurd. Ama vitu kwetu zinaka vitu azileti. Yeah. Ama ideas too crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yet uh, we should just have faith and trust in Him. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Wow, mm-hmm. it's great. It's, it's great to to see him say a combined buzzer keeping easy my my points. Um, uh, Barbara, I know you you wanted to say something, and uh, it's really important for us to hear it. Then we are going to see feel too like to look at attack words. Jini. I I think me say most of the things. Yeah. But. My, what just stands out for me is the mother of Jesus just told the servants, just do whatever he tells you. Yeah. You know, sometimes for us as human beings, the word of God in to us, yeah. but just have faith in whatever he says, uh, because his word is true. 
So whatever he says, just do it. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So just to, to summarize what uh, my fellow pastor's kids have said, uh, we are in a scenario where people have run out of something. I don't know what you've run out of. It could be a relationship. It could be your job. It could be money. Jesus is able to fix it. Just want to remind you when you go to him, go with to him in, in faith. The Bible says that uh, without faith we cannot please God. Nona mother wa Jesus alienda kwa Jesus with woga, kwa heart, with worry. And Jesus kinda rebuked that. Akamambia, whatsoever is troubling you cannot trouble me. And immediately she remembered, she knew what Jesus was able of doing. Akenda akamambia, whatever Jesus says, go and do it. And you know the beauty of it is that at the end of it, the emptiness that was there, the empty jars were filled with pure wine. I know you could be experiencing some void, some difficulties. I just want you to put your confidence in Jesus. He's able to fix your situation. Whatsoever he tells you to do, just rise up and do it. Your day one, you introduce to Jesus. Day two, you respond to him. Maybe you are waiting for an encounter. It is possible for you to do that. Just put your confidence, your very confidence in Jesus. Amen. to just fill our void, our emptiness with good things and I invite you visit with this family, visit with this, with this person that waits on you in the name of Jesus. Refresh them, restore their joy, the glory and honor of your name. And so Lord we bless you even as we put our confidence in you. 
in the name of Jesus. You could be right there. It's your day one. You want to follow Jesus and respond to him. I invite you. Just say, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. I confess of my sins and declare that you are Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. This is International Christian Center, Meru. If you've made that prayer, we'd want just to walk with you. Send us a message on the number that is running down there. We have a Bible for you. And the Lord bless you even as you give of your offerings and diets in support of God's work. Amen. God bless you. Till next Sunday.